Good evening, everybody. Uh, if you're taking a minute to watch this video, thank you very much. Um, my name is Mr. Herod. I'm going to introduce myself and keep this as short and sweet as possible, um, knowing that you might be catching up with a number of other classes. So um, I apologize. I cannot be at back to school night, uh, which will be tomorrow, Thursday. Um, you're watching this now. Uh, my wife uh, has the ability to support some international programs, um, which she does. And um, we got a two and a half year old to put to sleep, to, you know, <laughs> every night. So um, I'm going to make sure I, I am there for them, but I will be there for your students every single day. Earth science um, is my absolute love. I did not know that until my senior year of college and I uh, went and, and did a little bit of extra work to get out of English teaching and I were We'll never regret it. <laughs> um, this is my ninth year and absolutely love what I do and the students will have probably already realized that um, but they will they will realize it every single day and I hope uh, science is one of those classes that they just sit there and say um, I really love it all right and that's my my overall goal knowing that you know this is their first 50 minute stint uh, with science and it has to be something that they have fun with because in a typical environment we'd be able to move around and work on labs and at the end of the day it's all about getting their minds opened up to uh, to what's out there and there's a lot that's out there. So um, well, that's a little bit about me and, and my motivation. I'm actually a native New Yorker so I grew up in the Finger Lakes region and i um, Outdoors was my life, and I got sidetracked with my English ambi ambitions, but I came back uh, to my outdoorsy geology lifestyle, and uh, I will never regret it. But I tell the kids, uh, I had an opportunity before I took my teaching job to be a gold geologist, and uh, I, again, don't regret that either. I made the right decision to be with, with all of them. So I look forward to the amount of growth that we can have in this small stint of time until June or whenever we roll school into whatever it becomes, um, I will be there and uh, it'll be fun. A typical day for me, um, I am not a big lecturer, honestly. I like to get the students intrigued with a topic. If anything, um, I'll spend 15 minutes on a specific idea, propose some things, and then get them working. And I think that when we make science something that is experienced, uh, it's something that will stick in their brains and it'll be something fun for them to do. So I try to work in thirds and my first third of class might be me controlling um, what's going on, it might be my discussion, it might be showing them something through PowerPoints or well, slides um, or YouTube. But then the last two thirds, a lot of times, ends up being their work time. And they might work in groups through breakout rooms for um, as long as, as we're online. And um, once we get into the hybrid sessions, it'll likely be a similar type of setup since I'll be balancing students in and out of the classroom. All right. That time that they have, that two thirds uh, at the end of class where it's it's them working, I'm guiding them. Um, and I believe great teachers are guides. They are not just pouring information into open brains because um, our students need to create their own schemata of how things work in the world. And um, we're just there to correct them here and there. So that's important for you to realize is that notes wise, uh, I don't ask for a lot of notes. If students want to take down ideas or things that are interesting to them, that's fine. Uh, but a lot of times, a lot of our information is going to be on docs um, that the students are working on and editing, as well as a program called Gizmos, which allows us to bring our science curriculum to life. They get to work with variables. They get to you know, adjust this and see what happens to that. And without being able to physically work on labs, um, it's been an absolute blessing to have that program. Um, so again, that's called Gizmos. It's my job to get the students all set up with that. Um, but I don't think we'll be working on that until about the third week of February or fourth week there, which is pretty close to when we're uh, going to be heading back. Our curriculum, uh, we'll start off with getting students used to how do scientists work together and engineers, how do they solve problems. 
um, the reality that failure is a part of it and it can be frustrating, but the end result might be something great. Uh, we'll roll right into weather and then head into geology and geologic time and how all of this came to be through science's uh, perspective. And then we'll end with astronomy and head out into space. Grade-wise, uh, most of the students have total control over their grade based on the work that they do. Um, I don't have a lot of quizzes. Sometimes I'll have checks for understandings uh, at the end of the week where it'll be a Canvas type quiz, but there may be reading right next to it and support that's available for them that um, is based off of the work that we did that week. So um, asynchronous work, really ends up being work that's rolled over from our class sessions. So I'll remind students at the end of class and sometimes I'll put a pacer inside of the module and the students will be able to see how many more assignments they have to go for that week. Um, but just, just so you're aware, asynchronous work doesn't end up being a lot of extra work on top of what we're doing in class. It usually ends up being, okay, you know, if your time wasn't used wisely or your group got off track a little bit, now you have to take advantage and, and control your asynchronous time. And we want our students doing that, obviously, um, as they need to, to get used to managing their time before they head off into seventh grade. If you have any particular questions, I know I'm keeping this short um, and sweet, obviously, uh, but my contact information is going to be right below this announcement um, with this video. And uh, you can pop in at any support session if you have a quick question as a parent. I know those are there for the students, um, but if you notice that nobody else is there and you want to take a quick minute to clarify something, I never have a problem with that uh, whatsoever because it's my job to be there for both the kiddos but the parents as well. I look forward to a, a good second semester. Um, thank you again for checking in and I apologize I was not able to be there tonight. Uh, but your students, I hope, will definitely know um, just how invested I am, you know, for them this semester. So have a great night, and I will uh, see the kiddos soon. Bye-bye.